Hi there guys, welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic. So today we are going to be building a mechanics workshop. Um, so I'll just drive you around there now. Just up here. So yeah, this is where we're going to be building a mechanics workshop. We want to put a couple of lifts in. Uh, maybe a dyno or something like that with a, a, a compute system. So yeah, I hope you enjoy.
and we're all finished. So this is the car repair shop, uh, mainly mechanics. We'll probably end up doing a body shop next door. Um, so that's where they do obviously the dent repairs and scratch repairs to vehicles. Um, yeah, so let's go and take a look. So the first area is um, through this door here. And this is where the customers enter when they're dropping off their keys. Nice welcome sign there. Um, yeah, and obviously to collect the vehicle as well. Um, maybe booking for servicing. So let's close that door there. This entrance is obviously the, the way you drive the vehicles in. So if we go inside, there's a car already there on the lift. And we've done a dyno. Um, so yeah, these rollers lift up out the ground. They're not powered, but they are on bearings. Um, they do drop back down so you can drive off easily enough. Um, obviously, we, we can't monitor how much well how fast the rotation is going it would be nice if we could do that and maybe have a screen with numbers um, so however many times it goes past a sensor within a certain amount of time will dictate what number comes up on a screen who knows maybe in the future um, this is the cooling fan obviously when the engines running it needs a nice airflow to go into it um, yeah we've got a bit of pipe work around there we got storage up on the top. Um, so this is all the spare parts for vehicles. Obviously, there's a lot more in the game, but just put the essentials down there. A toolbox. Obviously, you need tools. An oil pan. Um, so when you're changing the oil, this can go underneath the vehicle and collect the oil from the oil change. Um, the lifts work very simply. Um, they each have their own button. Obviously, you press that and the lift comes up out the ground. So let's lower this car down. So yeah, what we'll do... I'll show you what happens when we put it over here. Yeah, let's pull it on. Uh, straighten up a little bit. Okay, so we're going to hop on out the vehicle. Obviously, if you had two people, this would be a lot easier. So there's a button here. And also, a button in the main control room. Um yeah, so basically one of the I can't remember which one it is now. One of the lights is active. I think it's both of those actually. Um when a car's on the lift. Uh, there's a sensor just below where the vehicle is. This button here will activate the fan uh monitoring system and also lift up the wheels out the ground, which is exactly the thing the button over here does. So we'll hit that one now. You can see the wheels come up out the ground. And yeah, push up against there. These side ones are just to stop it sliding off. Obviously in real life you have straps that hold the vehicle down. Uh, unfortunately it's not a great way we can do that. So I've had to come up with that situation. So we'll jump in. And give her some gas. So yeah, it works uh, quite well, obviously. No real purpose, but I just thought it would look really cool in here. Um, I'll show you in there whilst this is running. Yeah, just flashing lights, really. Power off. We've also got a filing cabinet over here. Uh, obviously you need a rubber ducky and a couple of spare work boots because you never know when you might need those. So that's all for this build guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Leave a comment of what you'd like to see in future builds. And thank you so much again for watching.